The 55th Wing is headquartered here at Offutt Air Force Base, Nebraska, with units around the world. One of those units is the 55th Electronic Combat Group, or ECG, more than 1,000 miles away, right here at Davis Monthan Air Force Base, Arizona. According to Staff Sergeant Adam Huey, that distance can have an impact on the mission. Things get lost in transmission through phone calls and email, and you know there's time differences and trying to get a hold of people when they're not in the office. So it can be it can be challenging at times, but I mean we got a great team here, so it, we usually things go pretty smoothly. The team he's talking about is comprised of the five squadrons of the ECG. The electronic combat group is like an like we're on an island, but that's a very important to us because we kind of rely on each other. Um, so that's the important part. I think that's what builds our camaraderie is we look at each other as a small community. The day we visited, that teamwork was on full display as Tech Sergeant Drivers, a member of the 755th Operation Support Squadron, worked together with Staff Sergeant Huey from the 41st Electronic Combat Squadron conducting inventory of a shipping container. She is an all right now. Our next stop, the 43rd ECS, where Staff Sergeant Jalen Pruitt Northrop told us about the importance of SARMS. So SARM stands for Squadron Aviation Resource Management. The easiest way to explain it is maintenance provides the aircraft, we provide the air crew. Um, we will get the information from scheduling and we will produce the flight orders um, with go no go, so the training required for them to actually take off and what training they need to accomplish while they're in the air. And that training they need is right down the street at the 42nd ECS, the group's training squadron, where Master Sergeant Michael McIntyre says it's his job to produce ready, able-bodied warfighters and aviators. What really makes it unique, though, is that we have, uh, for the way our structure works, we have the officers and enlisted crew positions all in the same squadrons. So here we have a much more cohesive uh, unit and family where it makes it a lot easier for crews when they deploy uh, to interact because they already know and understand each other. Even if we don't know each other personally, they tend to get together obviously before a deployment, but there's already that trust there. There's already that understanding from one culture to the next because it is all just one culture. And being a part of that culture means they have to understand the importance of the other squadrons. Major Scott Langford feels there's one squadron that holds everything together. Yeah, so our maintenance guys, I like to think of those guys as probably the most important part of uh, what we do here in the, in the electronic combat group because they're the ones that make the airplanes fly. Um, so whether it's coming out early in the morning or late at night, working on the airplanes all throughout the night really, and then when we come and land, they, if there's anything wrong, they're the ones that fix them as well. So. Without those guys, we don't get the job done. This is for the uh, cockpit voice recorder. And uh, we're not getting a light that tells us when it's inoperative or when it's working. Yeah, one of the greater things about being is maintenance is seeing your direct impact to um, the mission as a whole. So when the maintainers go out and fix one part, it gets the aircraft off the ground, which enables our crew to get trained or even on a bigger level to actually accomplish missions. After visiting all five squadrons, we came away with the understanding that they know how important it is to support one another and keep an open line of communication between them. Especially when we have a shared mission like the ECG uh, or even the Air Force as a whole, we all have a shared mission, right? It's, it's our country's uh, uh, defense and, and the defense of our, our allies. And everyone here agrees that as long as they continue to work together, they'll always get the mission done. Reporting from Davis Moth and Air Force Base, Arizona, I'm J.B. Artley for the 55th Wing Public Affairs, where the sun never sets on the fight in 55th.